on page 119 and 120, we have the four most used major scales played in the fourth position. They are G major scale, D major, and if you look on page 120, A major, and E major. We'll start with the G major scale. The G major scale is in the fourth position, but we, it's fingering type 1A. So our first note and our root is a finger stretch to the third fret. And then we stretch again. Fingering type 1A. Here's the exercise, G major, fourth position. One, two, three, four. There's a measure in this exercise that you have to flatten your second finger. In the third measure of the third line, when I play E to C, I have to play taking it from the second measure in the third line. Bill always wrote interesting exercises and he really always had a plan using harder intervals as it as the book progresses uh, using more accidentals more rhythms uh, harder positions so if you're on page 119 he's saying yeah I can throw a couple of things at you without even saying anything and seeing if you could play it the second scale in the fourth position is D major scale. Fingering type one, like C major in second position. Here's the D major scale exercise in the fourth position. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
one of the odder parts in this is the first measure on the third line. B, A, G, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, back to G natural, then in thirds. On to page 120, where we have the third of the four most commonly used scales in the fourth position. And this is the key of A. Uh, the major scale fingering is the fingering type two, which is second finger on sixth string. Make sure you practice the first lines of each of these exercises, which state the scale. Here is A major scale fingering type two. One, two, three, four. That was the A major scale in the fourth position. The next scale we're going to do is the E major scale in the fourth position. That's using fingering type three. Remember, fourth finger on the fifth string, that's where the root is. Also remember that E has a D sharp. That's the only difference between A major scale and the E major scale. So if we know an A major scale, E major scale, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp. Here is E major scale in the fourth position using fingering type three. One, two, three, four. Those are the most commonly used scales in the fourth position. These exercises are very difficult to read, so you really have to work at the fingerings and play very, very slowly and try and focus on the notes that you're playing, just not the fingering. Of course, the hardest part of these exercises are the arpeggios that are stated in the last line of each of these exercises. Let's look at page 119 again. We're in the key of G and we're playing last line G.
in the last line of the D major uh, exercise. Here's the D major exercise with arpeggios. The last line of the A major exercise on page 120. last line of the E major scale. If you can play those and recognize the notes, you are saying to yourself that I know the, the area of the guitar much better in the fourth position. It's one thing to play things scale-wise. But another thing to read melodies that include arpeggios and leaps.